Hey, what's up guys? It's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel for another Clash Royale video. If you're new here, hit that red subscribe button down below or hit the annotation at the end of the video and you can subscribe to the channel. We do daily videos, daily streams, daily tournaments, and it's a good way to earn free cards. So, I'm very, very excited today, okay? And that's because the King's Cup is giving like three amazing packages, guys. So, I'm gonna have to do some type of giveaway today to, uh, I wanna help some people get um, let me know if you guys have these packages in your shop. I wish I could get like, I would love to get like 10 people the 99 cent magical chest pack or something. Um, or if there's no way to do that, then I'll just get maybe a couple people the golden gem pack because that'll help people out too. Um, or I could just get one person a super magical, that's an amazing pack. Super magical chest usually costs $30 on its own. And you get $10 in free gems. So you basically get a free super magical chest with that. So we're going to go ahead and open these up. We'll see what we get. And then I'll, uh, and then we'll figure out the giveaway and then we'll do the videos. So remember to sh not show this. Remember to not show this. All right. Hopefully I remember not to show my password. Okay, yep, confirm the purchase. 99 cents. Purchase was successful. Hopefully we get some epics before the last card, then we can get a... I'm getting really close to level 8. Well, not really close, but I keep getting mini P.E.K.K.A.s every day. Alright, it's just gonna be a uh, couple epics. Let's hope for Bowler or... Uh... Yeah, I think Bowler is the main one. Or Baby Dragon. Yeah. Balloon. Yeah. Okay, I had to buy that. That's just great value. You get like two for one with that. Because normally 500 gems is $5. But with that you get 10k gold too. So it's like a free 10,000 gold. Now I can actually get a level if I want to. I can get my Ice Wizard up to level 4. But... Hopefully we just get either an ice wizard or a graveyard in this super magical gem pack because I do not want to I do not want to spend 40,000 gold on a uh, On a car because then it's gonna cost me 20,000 gold to upgrade it to level 11 I'd rather upgrade two troops to level 11 than get that um, ice wizard to level 11 mortars We already got two epics we need 23 I like P.E.K.K.A. Oh, nice. We got our arrows up to level 11. Nine. So we're... Oh, yes. We need one more bowler. We need, like, seven or eight more epics. Please. Oh, nice. We got a level eight mini P.E.K.K.A. Please give me seven or eight more epics. Yes. We're going to get a legendary, guys. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Are we going to get the graveyard? Are we going to get the ice wizard to level 11? What are we going to get? Yeah. Ice wizard to level 11. I'll take it, you know? I either wanted that or the... I would have loved the graveyard, but... I'll take the Ice Wizard to level 11. So now, we're going to have to start playing this Ice Wizard. Because that's going to be a... Look at that. It's going to be a tanky little beast right there. And it's doing good area damage. Yeah, we will have to play him on the ladder and stuff. Uh, we got to, right? I mean... We'll have to get a deck together that's got him in it. I could probably play him with this Expo deck. You know what? Uh, I was just gonna do a video opening this chest, but let's play a couple matches. I haven't played yet today. I just woke up and saw that in the shop, and I was like, "Oh hell yeah, 15 bucks for all that stuff!" Because I don't get to buy super magical chests very often. Oh, I can upgrade that mini packet too. We might have to create a deck with all that stuff that we unlocked. What are you gonna play, buddy? You gotta play something. You know what, I'll take it. That got so much damage in. Look, it's still getting damage. Watch out. Watch out, log. Boom. Bye-bye skeletons. And tower damage. That's what you call a value log right there. I think he's running a... He's probably either running the golem. Yeah, I think he's running a golem. Possibly... Yep, yeah, okay, there it is. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and play defense and then counter push. We're gonna play the ice golem in the back. 
guards in the back. We're gonna do that plant. I wanted to get those archers out of there. Looks like my tower is gonna go ahead and take that out. I didn't want to take the uh, damage there. We got to get this up. Because we cannot let him... Uh... That's okay. That's decent damage. Come on, get damage in. There we go. We're within double fireball range. Got no damage on us yet. We're gonna play it here this time. I mean, I don't even know what to play. I'm gonna play something with that. Oops, I played the wrong card. I obviously did not mean to fireball that. I just missed the, uh... Alright, this could get hairy. We're okay, we just need that fireball. No need to panic. Got this. We got this. It's hard to beat Golem decks. The reason we won that game, guys, is we got control. Here's the thing with Golem. When you're playing big tanks with the Expo guys, you have to catch them out of the rotation of their big tanks. So, if you saw on that second push, like, I got that good damage in early because he didn't have his Golem. But then on that second one, I went ahead and waited for him patiently. I put my Inferno Tower down. I killed all of his air troops, killed all of his supporting troops. Then I went back with the counter push and got that expo in. That's how I was able to get the damage. The times that I lose with the expo against tanks are when I'm like just completely trying to put that expo down. Put that expo down. Put that expo down. And I've really got to stop that. Another thing, when people start playing furnaces, I need to start playing defensive expo. No, I didn't know that that was going to die. I could have caught that whole tower. We got it down to a thousand though. We can't be too, too depressed. We got a positive elixir trade on the princess. I'm not sure if he's up or down in elixir. Might be pretty close actually. But what we're going to do, I like to play the ice golem in the back because I like to try to wait for him to attack. I love counter pushing. Like, I really don't like. Here we go. The main thing with the guards is they also tank the uh, musketeer shots. So, yeah, they were pretty important. Unfortunately, I can't really play my expo yet. I shouldn't be playing it right now, but whatever. Yep, now. You know what? I'm not gonna take any damage. I'll just let him go attack that. We're down to fireball range. This means defensive expo time. Couldn't get within death damage range. You don't have any supporting troops, so I'm not gonna support that really no need to.
He played just right into my hand there. Like, what are you doing, dude? You're gonna play Barbarians and put that right behind it? Who do you think you're up against? Play the guards for the Musketeer or Princess. Look, there. You, you want to just distract so that way your uh, Inferno... Look at that. Look at that uh, defensive expo. Chop that stuff up. I'm just playing aggressive now for fun. You always want to get that Ice Golem in front. If you guys are trying to learn how to play the expo. The Ice Golem is just to buy you time. And you're going to get a lot of red mad faces with this deck. But the, the Ice Golem and the Ice Spirit are just to buy you time. You just play them. Let them run by your expo. And it buys them time. This deck used to have Fire Spirits in place of Ice Golem. But. Um, Patriots told me to play ice golem in the guard slot and then play fire spirit so if i was using this deck i would have it look like like that but i don't know i've been running into a lot of situations where i need those guards but those fire spirits are really amazing at taking out minions minion horde especially and um goblins skeleton army it takes out a lot of things so i probably should be playing it but i've got the log for like skeleton army and stuff but yeah it's a fun deck guys we'll play one more with it we're two and oh so far in this episode but we'll play one more, even if we lose. Uh, we probably will lose. I lost one match trying a, that uh, new deck I was playing. The Lava Hound. Um, the guy in our clan, Arya, he, um, he's in the tournaments a lot. I-69%, Yo Mama or something is his name. He's uh, very, very good with that deck, so. He just wants that big daddy push, huh? I had to play the guards or else that Mega Minion would have slapped my tower to pieces. Definitely not letting two pumps go down. I don't care if I was that little elixir. I still got a Mega Minion to defend with. I'm not letting him get two pumps down. He's got two half health pumps. Ah, shit. That was probably a bad idea. I gotta eat that damage on the left. Alright, we know we gotta deal with that, uh, those three musketeers now. That was really bad. Look how much damage I took on the left, too. Um, we just gotta get back to the expo. We didn't, we weren't able to play our Inferno either. What's he doing? He just what? Hits our King Tower, he's gonna throw the match, now he's rejoins. I'm gonna wait till the last second to do this. I just like to wait in case they play some other troops. I think he lagged out, guys, is what happened. I think he lagged out and then. He didn't do that on purpose. He was he was meant to fireball my uh, my tower.
How did he get a shot off? Could just play defensive and fireball him out. But that's no fun, right? game. Who the three musketeers with the giant? That giant can tank those shots on the, uh, I mean, we still would have, uh, it still would have been a close match, even if he wouldn't have messed up and lagged out and hit my king tower with that fireball. It still would have been a close match, but, uh, yeah, guys, it's a little bit of expo action. Uh, we got that ice wizard we can upgrade now. We need to upgrade the ice spirit so we can make it to the tower. Yeah, it's, it's a necessity when you're playing level 11 people, unfortunately. I hate I hate to spend 20,000 gold on an ice spirit for a troop that doesn't do that much stuff, but it's a necessity for the ladder. So thank you guys so much for watching. The tournaments are going to start in about 30 minutes from the time you're watching this, 8 to 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and then we'll run them for a few hours. Thank you guys so much. Um, if you're a Clash of Kings fan, the Dragon Camping live streams at 10 p.m. Eastern Time tonight. Thank you guys so much. You can subscribe by hitting my logo right there. You can watch another Clash Royale video. Thank you guys so much. Teamwork makes dreamwork. Smash thumbs up and see you in the next video.